coming home with the flu and calcification of my Achilles tendon at the insertion, what are you going to do? I've going, I've, I have come up with um, a grain-free porridge recipe. Um, I've just tasted it and it's really cool. I added a dollop of butter and then a little bit of salt. I'm like, yeah, that tastes really good. Then I added some cream to it and that tastes really good too. It's got cinnamon in it. It's got, let's see if I can remember, a cup and a quarter of chia seeds, a cup and a quarter of ground golden flax meal. Uh, it's got about a half a cup of desiccated coconut and then like a handful, so I guess another half a cup of shaved coconut, like the big shaved bits. It's got a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. It's got a sprinkle of um, pink salt in there. Um, I think that's it. Uh, and I just kind of put all the dry ingredients, mixed them all together. And then I took a quarter of a cup of the combined ingredients, put it in my bowl, and I poured half a cup of hot water, so I just boiled the kettle over the top and I let it sit for five, I don't know, seven, five minutes? I don't know, something like that. Um, and then I kind of gave it a bit of a stir. Oh, I stirred it before, then I stirred it afterwards. It's like a goopy, gelatinous mess. It looks pretty gross, uh, but it tastes really good. Uh, so I let it sit for a little while, and then I stirred in some butter, and then I put a bit of salt and tasted it. Yep, sweet. And then added the cream. Oh, yeah, that's really good too. So you can put anything you wanted on top of this. I'm sure you could even like add some bacon, maybe some garlic and turn it into like a savory type breakfast thing. Uh, you can put some berries on there with the cream. So you can kind of see it's kind of goopy and gelatinous. But I mean oatmeal when you use oats is actually quite gelatinous as well. So it's not like going to win any awards for um, <laughs> appearance. Um, like really tasty. And if you're sick of eating bacon and eggs and coconutty granola. Oh, I maybe added a little bit too much salt. <laughs> um, this is something different. So I'm going to post the recipe up soon when I actually finish it and tweak it. But the dry ingredients are now sitting in my fridge. And um, I'll show you. In a jar like this. Make sure it's airtight. Seal it in the fridge. Um, and whenever I want it, I just get it out and just put a little bit in there and yeah, let it soak for a little while and she's good to go. So, happy days. New breakfast recipe. Success! I forgot to say that I also added some sunflower seeds. I would have added more, but I only had about between a quarter and a half a cup left in the jar. So, they all went in there too. So, you could add different kinds of seeds and stuff if you want. The other thing too, I've been looking into flax. Um, not everyone should be eating flax. There's some conflicting research out there. If you're someone that shouldn't eat flax, um, this recipe can be made without it. So chat to your GP if this is going to be something that you're going to eat for breakfast every morning and just make sure that flax is okay for you, especially if you have cancer or anything like that. There are certain types of cancers. Anyway, I'm not going to go into it, but do your research before you start eating anything in, to excess. This is really good and you probably could eat it every morning if you don't mind goopy gelatinous porridge. <laughs> so yeah, be careful with what you eat all the time even if it is healthy. So flax is a superfood, it's great for you, but it can be dangerous for some people. So make sure you do your research first um, and add what seeds you think, have a play with it, and let me know what you come up with.